What's up, Daily Cash? Just here today. I want to show you three of my my Dumba builds. The first one focuses on the Mending Spirits skill. So obviously, the first one is the Every Presence five stacks that I can spam it uh, when I miss. I can spam, spam it anyway, and with Chronos, I can spam every one second, I think, or or uh, zero to five seconds so the second one is the um, the English name for that ritual magic five stacks because when I when I'm so focused on the first talent with Madamba where I get the 250 heals bonus heals I am very focused on heals non-stop and I get the full heal for myself. So this the third one is the English name for that is possession. Yeah, it's really important for me that I have damage reduction and uh, the good players focus healers instantly, especially my Dembers because they're one of the most dangerous healers. They can stand. They can. Uh, can make two heals with the gourd and with the mending spirits. So it's important for me that when I use my mending spirits, I get the uh, 12% um, damage reduction, three stacks, at least 10%. That's important for me that the enemies uh, can't, yeah, focus me and uh, instantly die. So <coughs> the fourth is the liminal passage so, um, slicer is one of the most important skits of Maldemba if you if you are in trouble uh, I, I would take free stacks but I'm very focused on that I could make the heat for that more I re can, could reduce that but I wanted the full heat <coughs> sorry I want the full heat so, but anyway, Slicer needs at least one stack for for the range. It's very important as my number. And this um, last one is Snake Pit for more mobility that I can yeah move a little bit faster with the item uh, a bit more than usual or the usual healers or usual um, usual threats on the battlefield. So that's uh, Riddle Magic. Very focused on mending spirits, very straightforward. So the second one is <coughs> excuse me. So the goat build. So obviously the first one is many goats, five stacks for me. I wanna spam goat as soon as possible with the Kronos item. You can spam it uh, I think every four seconds, I think. Yeah. We have uh, this same, it's very important, I think, for almost every Maldamba build. Expect you are very, very a pro with Maldamba. Um, every presence, one stack at last. Um, and here is one of my absolute favorite cards. It's the Danish, what would that, Venomous Gort. This is the card where you make the god so powerful because especially for tanks um, for example <coughs> you take a Khan you, you throw a god on the Khan who has already in his deck the 20% lifesteal and has already the the free stacks from the item lifesteal so he has already 50% lifesteal <coughs> and if you throw the bomb every ally so the can in this case gets another 40% lifesteal so 90% and that means he makes easy for every shoot he makes he hits 100 HP gain and if he has the, the, the middle talent I forgot the name I don't know in, in English he gets very fast HP so basically, he one gourd 
gives scene very fast HP back. Plus his um, his shout. So Khan, uh, I really like Khan, and uh, you can, especially for tanks, this gold build is uh, it's fucking beautiful. That's my f absolute favorite build. Um, so 40% life steal also works for DPSs like Victor who or Vora who who has who have usual the life steal item. So uh, maximum for DPS is if they have the free stacks item, 70% uh, life steal, and that's a thing. So, of course, um, if I can can uh, focus on the manning spirits because I have only one stack of this, um, I'm focused obviously on the gourd. So I'm more vulnerable if in the in the early game. Because I have Kronos five stacks, so I need to need to hide, and if enemies focus me, I need to uh, move fast. That's why three stacks on the sliver. It's very entertaining to <coughs> to have this movement with Meldamba. <coughs> Sorry. So and at least the ritual magic. Yeah, I know. Actually, I would make free stacks. This is one of the most important skills for Maldamba, in my opinion. But you have to pay if you wanna make a good build focused on one skill. And Gurt is objectively one of the best skills in the game if you're talking about healers. Yeah, one stack, mm. but at least. I have a bit heal when I use Manning Spirits. So, and now to the third build. It's a hybrid combined with Manning Spirits and Gord. So, we have the two important skills. I don't uh, need to mention them, you already knew them for the cooldown of my Gord and the cooldown that uh, for Manning Spirits that I can spam it even when I've, I miss, I can spam it anyways. Yeah, Witchel Magic on three stacks, that's a very solid, very solid healing for me. Yeah, Slytha, um, only 10%, but at least I have a bit movement. And, um, I forgot the name, yeah, Possession. If I, because I can't, <coughs> I can move so uh, quickly or so wide, I need a bit damage reduction when I spare my Manning Spirits. I get a bit, little bit damage reduction that I don't die so quickly. So, yeah, that are my three Maldamba builds. I really like this character. I made this hybrid build um, uh, just today. Yeah, let me think uh, what you think about my builds. If there's any, any. Um, progression or update to my builds or any tips how you play Meldamba or for the cards for the decks let me know anyways have a good self have a good self reflection until next time the cash is peace out